we can't seem to agree on a definition of the word censorship. And uh, Jill really thinks that censorship is something to do with how the society reacts to what you've already done. And I'm convinced that censorship starts in syntax. The idea that we are imbued and told that things have to be put into a context and contextualized in order for any other human being to understand it uh, makes no sense to me whatsoever. That's censorship. Uh, I don't know the audience, but if the audience is at all engaged in the making of art or the making of, of uh, fashion or the making of anything that requires a receiver, and you're dealing with somebody who wants desperately to have what you make, but it doesn't quite fit, so they want you to change it. And in fact, then, they don't want what you've made. They want something that they have been able to perceive. And that's the second stage. Yes, of censorship. Yeah, that, that, that's a funny kind of thing, because if art doesn't have a metaphor, and it just is a fact, everyone coming to it can bring their own needs, their desires, and their metaphor to it. Yes. If it has a metaphor, they have to accept your value structure. Everybody here comes from a, a culture, and that culture is either uh, national, ethnic, uh, religious, uh, sometimes even political culture. And within that culture, we're told that in order to be able to explain yourself, you have to quote unquote define your terms. And that's something that comes from the 60s, 70s, 80s academia. I was talking with an old friend of mine who makes movies just the other day, and she reminded me of something that when we were working together, we were making movies together, I had once said that if you could, to a loving, adoring mother, explain your dreams and your aspirations, they weren't worth doing. When you start to create something, if you feel like you're trying to create something that's intelligible to other people, already you're working within a kind of self-censoring yes. practice. And do you actively try to avoid that? We've had this conversation because Jill wears two hats. She likes to, to play that game between artist and writer, artist and intellectual. <laughs> but if you can take your ego and basically put it in your pocket, you can't really be thinking anything that somebody else couldn't understand because you can't be that special. Yeah. And the interesting thing about making art is it's not made by special people. Yeah. And then you don't have to censor anything. Yeah. They just don't like what you're saying. They don't like you and you're, you're the kid that's rejected again. Well, you can get used to that. I mean, that seems to be the role of the artist. Mm -hmm.